good morning family from this side good morning from here good morning from holland good morning from europe good morning and and the greetings according to according to your timeline yeah, yeah my days australia time and zaman and the same with america because uh after three weeks i'm going to be interviewing someone from america zaman it's now early in the morning, going to nine, nine in the morning, and then uh, for Australia, it's going to five in the evening. Because right now in Juba, it's also around nine forty-six, just like Zamantan Nani. Anyway, I hope I'm cool with Sin Fish and so on. See ya, happy Sunday, blessed Sunday. We are waiting for Silver X. Mm. So we are waiting for him. We are waiting for him. I can't play any music because my kalamta copyright. Okay. So Lena Salma follow this program. As we are waiting for Silver X, let me just uh, say something small about this. Uh, this thing that I'm doing, this program, it has been a a dream from a long time. And Finas Ketir, I'll encourage Yana Kedana Molo, you know, this program. But I believe in God's timing. God's timing is the best. Kan maza mantaraba na zeumba na wunchle viola. Kan maza mantaraba na hajit kulu madura kuis. But when it's God's timing, Things will go well. So let me check him. See if I can't online. Please send me another. Uh, send me. Okay, no, he's not online. Hi guys, just say something. Hi Juba Giafa, I can see you. Sometimes I'm not going on us, not going on. Sometimes I'll just see how many people is watching, and then I can see Juba Giafa. I hope you're doing well. I think I'm on for Cairo this morning, right? Yeah, so I start uh, this thing, uh, today's uh, episode number four. Okay, Silver X there. Okay, let me invite you. Okay, let me send you. I'm trying, but I can't. My goodness. Okay, I'm trying to bring him. I'm trying to bring you, but I don't know what happened. Okay, Silver X, can you send me? You send me the friends request in other because I'm trying get on a rasu letters and get us back. Okay, now I can see it. Yes. Oh my goodness, I hope it's great. Because every time I can give out this program, at least I have to do it like four, three times. So anyway, guys, I'm I'm in Cuba. Oh, you're in Cuba. You are in Cuba, okay. That's that's great. That's good. Shukran. <laughs> so you know, as I was saying, uh, we are waiting for Silver X. Um, it's been a dream from a long time. Until a few weeks ago, my friend, you know, uh, she told me like, "Still, I'm again one for go hajat, you know, I'm again one for go hajat a dunya life." And I told her like, "I want to do this thing, uh, but I don't know how to start." She told me, like, you know what, you have a big dream, Stella. Like, in your mindset, your mindset is very small, very little. Okay, we are waiting for Silver X, a Yama fashion, because the network, I think sometimes, so please, guys. Okay, we just have to try again. This thing always happened like that, okay? 
this program they were like this still like four three times happy sunday the king so all right yeah how are you <laughs> guys let us welcome to YXC here with us so it's nice to see you brother that's really nice you look good uh-huh <laughs> yeah it looks nice the day in target no that's I the key right from here ah yeah i can see it uh beautiful I can see like you know what I give. I'm used to them. Even look at basic. I used to wear them 12, 15, those early years, like 2010. Yeah. In other you know, and, and I used to go to Yay, uh give probably eight of them out. I come back, but those ones were fake ones, but okay. these ones are real. Yeah, but that's good. I have a question in that Anna give any quest because sometimes who's a tiny give in with Anna give any quest? Yeah, I can give any quest. Okay, right. that's good. I don't want to put you in other sea bait. So welcome. I didn't even take gil. I don't want to get into the gil colors. Like this one, not the gil most. I think the fake one is yeah, the gil. Yeah. Yeah, the fake one is the gil. So, anyway, welcome. Right. welcome you. <laughs> um. So. Okay, that's good. Welcome. <laughs> how's my doll? How's my baby? How's the kid? How's princess? Okay. She's good. She's good. She's she's grown up. She's she's grown up right okay. now. She's she's a big girl now. Yeah. That's really good. I just want to say thank you so much. Thank you for accepting this. And everyone who is watching, thank you guys. Welcome. Blessed Sunday. This is Silver X Anta. Okay. I just want you to introduce yourself. What I mean, <laughs> Let yeah. me introduce. Uh, you. Yeah. To all the the viewers right now, you know, watching. Stella TV, just want to say, uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Silver X. Mm. Uh, majority call that's the dunia, literally mm. translated as the world teacher. Mm. I do music for a living and mm. I've done it for about 18 to 18 years right now. Started around 2000 after my high school, school and uh, yeah, it blew out in Nigeria somewhere around 2007, 8. And then I uh, had my breakthrough album in 2009. Wow. That is for the show. And yeah, wow. that is for yeah. me. And uh, 100% success to Dennis, definitely. And I uh, came to Australia for, for a bit of time to do you know, for my family. But I'll be back. Mm, that's nice. That's nice. You know, I, I want to ask because we're going to talk about um, uh, tomorrow day. They are all, is that your first song? Because sometimes, you know, in life, like in music industry, people and Maral can go to YouTube, and then people will think, okay, they're going to talk our like it. Before that, you know, yeah, there's a long journey before they get ready, before they get a level that day. So, I love that song, you know, this song in Europe, I need a song, 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 Mama, I've been to the shop, madam. Like him, the killer, the killer, come to the door. And I'm not the man who's not the man that's a killer. Oh, my baby, mama. Kalam de hapi, alekia, madam. Mataloma na sakit, analifu dunia, anabiga taban. Analifu, analifu, anabiga taban. So, my baby, alekia, ila kugutub. Wale kamanto ria, aleka rajiru, alekia, madam. Ila tenaga mokoyo, wale kaman siko, badmara kaman kote. Fentaki lwo iyala kibet. Wale kuro wa feti su eyo nota. Shogo kan diga musaid gafir. Wale kaman kasulu araban tarab. Bahar san kef. Iyal kede akulo lipsu. Oruwa medereza le musaid. Well, Tom and Sibu and in a day. <laughs> yeah, see what that's wow. You know that song have a good message for God. Guna rekan do that message. That good song have a good message for God. And then Lana uh, yamda kuhala nini? We also gali maybe uh, they guna taki. It's the first song. Like in, is that true? They guna taki. I will guna taki. No, actually that was uh, for the show. It was my fourth studio album. So can get that. In a single song, let me say it could have been my song number 30 something. Because when I started, we started as a group, we were called New Zealand Superstars. Like when I finished my high school, I could not afford to go back to school. Mm. 
think of what to do next. And uh, I realized I was, I used to do miming in school and stuff like that. So mm. and uh, like about seven people, we just started, you know, miming songs, writing stuff like that. And then 2007, I, I I dropped the proposal to SPLM Secretariat to read. I mean, mm -hmm. and they looked at me and I, so we did an album as a group of, as a New Zealand superstars, you know, in oh. 2007, around January to February. Mm -hmm. But then later, I uh, like, you know, being in the group and stuff was having a lot of, a lot of, you know, ups and downs. And my dreams were very big and it could only be me to understand the kind of dreams I had. So mm -hmm. in two, I was a single artist. Mm. That, that was the birth of Silver X. When I was in that group, we were called, I was called DMX. Oh. And then as Silver, yeah, in 2008, I moved as a solo artist. I left the group. And then I now dropped my first album, a single album that was called uh, Anadero Binyalo It was like, Anadero Binyalo Tuko, Binyalo Tuko, Anadero Binyalo Tuko, Binyalo Tuko. I think I forgot the verses, but that was the song. And uh, yeah, also that song was the album itself had about six songs. Uh, and I remember those days two tapes. You know, you get those songs, tapes and the CDs. So it had six songs, three on this side of the tape, three on the other side of the tape. Mm -hmm. And that's that was the album that actually sold the Silver X image in like the entire Eastern Equatorial. The album was a hit. It had six songs and all of them were hits. Wow. And then now from there, the album sold out the tapes. The tapes sold out up to Khartoum, Juba, and all that. Mm -hmm. so, but I wasn't big in Juba yet. But every artist that came from Juba to Tori to perform, mm -hmm. they were told that is a king in this area. There is one person here. You cannot do a concert in Tori without. Wow. So wow. I was always that guy. And then I realized Torit was becoming, I mean, Eastern was becoming small for me. Mm -hmm. And then I wanted to explore my dreams, you know, because I'm this person, I like to take things step by step. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I knew now home, I had conquered home and I had the home love and all that kind of stuff, the support. So I can now go to the next step. So if I fall from there, I can still come back home and still be loved. Mm -hmm. So I now dropped the album for Fotis Shokol in 2009. Wow. You understand? So the was mm -hmm. in nine, and they also had six songs. But then that song was not my. It wasn't the song I expected to 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 be that that big. No. Was uh, uh -huh. that, was called, that was a song I wrote. Like that was a song I meant. I mean, this is going to be the album, whatever. So mm -hmm. but the that's a song that I wrote actually in Lutuko, and then I came and translated. Now when I was doing it, so what happened was I went to I traveled to Gulu. And then I traveled mm -hmm. to Masindi. Mm -hmm. Masindi is where I recorded that album from in a very small room. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. a small room like this. So Lisa was in there sleeping in the studio. So I landed, I reached, I reached Masindi, go to the studio, we started recording. I recorded six songs in one, one night. Mm -hmm. And the next, next day they were given to me, all of them. Wow. So when I did four songs, now I was looking for a six, six song to, to put out. Then I realized, oh, there's a song I wrote in Lutuko, this for the sugar song. Then mm. I was like, let me just translate it in Arabic. Maybe a lot of people out there are facing the same situation. And then I translated mm. it from Lutuko to, to Arabic. So I sang mm. it as the last of the album. I didn't mean it actually like you get. I just sang it. And it anyhow, is a how. So yeah. just to finish it. Yeah. And then, yeah, I finished. I shot about three videos. No, I shot also six videos in Gulu in, I think, two nights with a guy called diamond films right now mm -hmm. currently we work together with him but now he's in juba mm -hmm. so he shot mm -hmm. videos in one night or two nights i think and then the next day i came to me i made those steps the cds Zamanak, then let's go give you corner stuff to buy the cds by the way yeah if you can share oh. You just have to share. Yeah. Right, let me let me let me do that. Um, Hi guys, okay. welcome, Sister Viola. I can see you. I can see Dominic Kufinas, and then I cannot see you. Like I'm gonna ask you guys, know, but I I can't see everyone. Guys, welcome. And I'm a Silver X today. Episode number four of B. You want to? He's telling about his journey about music industry. Can over the cave because me myself, I told Gali in other. Uh, 
And I live with Dunia, Mama, Fetis, so called. That song is really a hit, Lamna Yomdak in, if you hold an in, if you're European, you know. So for us, we thought that's the Guna to Al, Al, you know, Al Fatal Osika. Like, he's telling right now, like, no, that song's not the first song. And then the, the in Narita Kengali, it used to be in, in Bumps, in that event. They had you, Lamna Kan Mabarko. Yeah. 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 Like, like, you know, people just, people know what they, people, you know, know the information they get from other people, but they don't really have the original information of probably how Silver X started and all that. Maybe a lot of guys from Tori will know, but other people just hear. So, and then you hear like, you can, you hear it from haters. Also, you hear from the real friends of Silver X. So, you will not get 100% information, but this is the people had. People thought, but it was my first song, but no, it was, I don't know, maybe song of 30 something, let me say. But wow. the time dropped, yeah, it's, it, I already, I already had like about three albums. Three albums. You know, that was wow. also the album before the show was called Sudani. Sudani, Beleseme, something like that. Also was a big, mm -hmm. was a big album, mm -hmm. but not the level of the show. So when for the show blew out, I didn't mm -hmm. it anyway. Because the first day, like for example, when I dropped the album in Torit, the first week, that's that song of Malatre. Malatre, was 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 it started hitting before with the sugar then the next day i went uh, up and everyone is calling requesting for the sugar so the traffic now was for the sugar malak for the sugar malak and the same thing happened in juba by the way but it mm. happened in 2009 and it happened in juba in 2010. Mm. Mm -hmm. in juba, like the, those biggest uh, miraya or whatever it is so it was for the sugar malak for the sugar malak and then but the sugar took the first spot for quite a long time so by the time for the sugar was now really up there malak was mm -hmm. caught up so had about three hits in that album, like nationwide hits. I had for the show, I had Malak Fair, and I had a song called Weekend. Mm -hmm. So, and then that was now people like Silver, 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 and then, you know, that was the battle of Silver, I the international, and the whole world, you know, the whole world, yeah. Okay. Okay, and, and then I want to ask something because my Gunata Kalana Liku Dunia Petit Sokole, you know, uh, uh, you song really a message. And then I can gas my angle, you see again because my message is there. Because, you know, a lot of people might have the truth get on, so. That is the biggest lie. Okay. You know, people come and put me issue. Tanin Galida, race for the land of the age, tell a girl can see music. Tanin Galida, I'm going to do that. Mm. That was super true. You know, there was mm. no even a single day any government official or Lizol Tanin Tahakuma Jagai asked me why I sang the song. The song actually, that was a song that change the narrative of the whole music industry because before mm -hmm. that song a lot of people were only singing songs just praising leaders praising mm -hmm. the president uh, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. money. but mm -hmm. my intention of becoming just like to to sing what what people are going through so and that song came out that was at the time the Junubin opened their eyes and they started not loving some music because of the message mm -hmm. they now realize oh okay so music is just not about praising these leaders so it is about you know singing about the things that we go through as citizens of the country and exactly. believe me, for the song that changed the you know, entire industry people i know some people will say no that's a lie but that's the truth after that album I'm of the show that is now when Juno Bean started respecting the industry that's i always tell guys i am the change i'm the person who changed the industry the whole narrative i i mean i, mean, I created this game people are enjoying today much as they will say all this and that and then in that moment there was also great artists i won't really like to recognize like that really helped they gave me the competition that's the freedom boys particularly the king like my brother let me say like a real brother for a matter from the same you know we come from the same place mm. and we lived with him in this house so outside we were doing a very high competition but inside we were living together eating together sleeping on the same bed so mm. that was, was amazing so for the yeah. never an issue at all from anyone mm -hmm. but of course people had their own you know, sayings, but I was never arrested, yeah. I was never threatened, never asked. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's really good because I remember the first time that was in 2015 when I went to another uh, to, to Juba. And I just got some, and, and again, my nurse said, I'll be a silver egg, silver egg. Like, and I was talking to in that alcohol store, you know, in that, in that, um, uh, in positive, physical positive. They were really talking good. I hear a lot about your name. I'm like, oh, this guy, man, this guy is really doing good. And just like I told you, in our Guna Takalana, the Dunia Guna, that there was really a hit. And me and myself, I thought the Guna Takal first. 
And then I just want to ask um, uh, the journey in music, Ruakev, Zeta Genon, Sasa, Derefi, yeah. I don't know, feel love music there because I, when I was there, I really, I had a lot of things, you know, the artist, musician, art, a lot of hate, a lot of sunu. How's the journey? How do you deal with all these things? You see, it, it is very simple because I created this game. You know, that is what you call that is music. Mm. That is music industry, mm. but that mm. is the game music. Mm. The game in part of it. So music is just anybody can sing and stuff, mm. but that is the game. So I created the game, the game that exists in the industry, in the music right now, mm. which is the game that every artist is playing. And you see, when you hear this kind of beefs, you know, Filan, Kisaka, Lama, Filan, Filan, you know, this and that, and that oh, Munu, Munu, most of them, we create them out, you know, to mm -hmm. make the whole industry interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, being the creator of this game, that means I'm the mastermind behind the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I know how to do this. So by the time I do something, I know I'm going to get negativity coming up and I'll mm -hmm. be ready for it. So, mm -hmm. okay, even if not just in music, but in my life entirely, when I'm going to do something, I know it's going to have a, like a, a side effects. So I prepare for, for what is coming. That's so when good. these people come you know, those kind of things, I'm always ready for them. And brain-wise, I have a reason them because I know what they're going to say. Okay. So I already have that in my mind. I already know how I'm going to deal with them. And uh, you know when someone is abusing you, but you already know that's exactly how they're going to abuse you. Mm. It will not hurt you again. Mm. But then they think they are, you know, they will just say, oh, oh this is not, but already I know, like, for example, when, when they come against my, my, my wife, that was the first thing I told Munir. Mm. When we met in 2015 and, uh, yeah, when I came for my tour to Australia and then we met and I went and then we started having this relationship kind of thing when I was already on the other side. And mm. uh, I told her one thing is very dangerous to love me because my life has been, mm in public mm. and uh it's it's always you know it's always this and that so i she was aware about the effects that come with you know with, with somebody to to you know being with me but i just needed someone who's like who could be very real and mm. someone who could be very true to me. you know being a star it's difficult to know who loves you really and who loves you for your money maybe for your family and she's, you understand it's a strong woman you know yeah. this, uh, i'm, I'm yeah. sorry She's a strong one. Go and take some money. Go to the bar. They go. Oh, then maybe get sour. They will not stay long. So now look, you know. Yeah. Now I, they say those now you just have a beautiful child, and she's really blessed, and you are blessed, and you guys deserve each other. So I'm so really happy for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, really. So she's she's a very like she's an amazing woman, you know. And I just needed someone. I needed someone who like mentally is all you know who's grown up. Someone who knows what's up, who's experienced life. Mm. You know, saying like, you know, by the time a man gets to do some decisions, like, I already know I've gone through a lot of things up and here and there, but then I, I needed someone who could be, you know, and all that kind of stuff. So she understood by the time she was in with me, like, but except I do not allow people coming to abuse or involve my wife into, like, into issues that don't even concern mm. her. My wife mm -hmm. has never come online even a single day to abuse anybody. She's exactly. never done, in spite of all, all these things that's the, going on, she's never done that. That's why this year particularly, mm. I had to do a complete revenge for everything everybody like has said bad against, against her, against me. Like last year when, when mm. two of these low-life kind of early scam online and then involved Monia for Hagatani. As that she was not part of it. And mm. even how the shit is I didn't even cause it. You know, Lady Cola's birthday. Mm. And then I just wished Lady Cola happy birthday. Mm. And then I had to I was like she's the only female artist who can diss every artist in the industry mm. and nobody can say anything about it. Mm. The next minute I know at work by the hours out at my hustle place. Mm. Mm. The next thing I know, there were two people that came, two ladies, let me say, grown up all ladies came online and then started abusing bigger Munia. Mm. Then in the a lot of people back home in Juba, the whole team is in Juba, so I was seeing people sending me screenshots. Mm. That time that was about eight months, by the way. Mm. Eight months, seven months. And you know what kind, that kind of pressure that put. 
what it could cost, uh, what it could like cost a pregnant woman. A lot of things should have happened. A lot. Like, a lot of things should have happened. It can do a lot. A yeah. lot. Yeah, just imagine that like anything can but that happen because of that. Because a woman at eight mothers, you know. Mm. So these people particularly Anna Kutmona San Figuel, but I mean someone that but then I was waiting for a time until Madame gives birth and then they were busy go, my back they really do because you know, they didn't even know my wife was pregnant a long time. But because they're stupid, I left them to you know to abuse and say those things. But I know I was going to steal one day from them. A very big day. And I stole from them Christmas. Can you imagine mm. the photo shoot from Monia for her pregnancy about a couple of months? And then In Christmas, went, Christmas times, and yeah. Christmas yeah. So when they were about to enjoy their Christmas, they were seeing the whole sky was blue, internet was blue. Mm. You, you see how that gets them, you know, when you're lying about someone's life, you, you assume you know their life better, but you really have no idea. God has the, so that was the, final, the most beautiful. The final say. It's only God, yeah. Yeah, but you really defend your wife, and and, and, and you know what? Yeah. So like, I support you for defending for defending your wife because Munia why you matter the video galike do city munu because of that list another attack the hogo malo gida kal fajeta no swan to no he's defending you are defending your wife you have the right to defend your wife you know people are very evil in this world time will quest while a battle nurse is a gun for God you you did well by defending your wife yeah thank you so much. I really it. like there are very few people who can reason like you are but mm. a lot of this you know they say guy mm. shaitan you know devil minds will meet together to try to fight god mm -hmm. that's what they're mm -hmm. doing like they are also this nasabin i know if you're a woman what would you expect your husband to confess the attack it a man's responsibility is to defend his family for me i'll kill anyone for my my family that's what you come after my kids you come after my wife that is the red line you understand but when you come after me i will take it as a star as a celebrity is okay that's very normal mm. and for a woman who doesn't even speak and for most i wouldn't even advise my wife to go online and do those no 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 unless we're good mm. yes but to go and we have kids mm. we have families and we have that you know we have to keep that respect you understand you can't go online abusing people like if you really can't amaral muhtaram for example, you just have your wedding or your interaction today, then tomorrow you go online abusing. What does even your husband think about that kind of thing? Mm, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. Just imagine like it's you. Today I'm already in like an interaction taki. And then mm. tomorrow, go online, this tackle man has sitting my buba, sitting bana, sitting mo rojal and all this kind of thing. What does mm. your husband think about can raj the galen mukovis? And a lot yeah. of people mistook me that I said, no, mine was no. Not, I kept mine. I just knew the right time to do it. Galana Jews, Mara Jews. And then Tara Jews are bigger Yaba. Let's just be honest. Yes, I you And even me and Monia, the difference is just very small. But that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted someone who's ahead of me. I'm a star. I need someone to guide my life. You understand? I need someone. Mm -hmm. I need someone who's like who has that motherhood in them someone who doesn't love me for for my money for my fame someone who just who is there you get so my choice is something that i i reason over it is something i took time to think over it's something i decided i was like yes this is the right person very kind very humble welcoming this every kind of woman you would want trust me and i want one that will probably invite you over this side just to visit have a time like life without like this you'll understand the kind of person she is and uh when i jumped into this issue i actually meant it and that my animal father can did call him no that, those are their issues women mine was a revenge i wanted them to test the same medicine that they were you know they don't mm. their own medicine because if you think it's good to abuse other women how about if the same insults were transferred how would you feel and you know what, Silva X? Because all these things happen in Africa. Can I tell you that Europe in Italy, or Hajit Kila Zor, will take six in Zola for five years, six years? Yeah. Just this thing. Even you can record everything. I don't have to walk in South Sudan. You know, to someone that's getting wounds, Hajit Fi Hajit Alvala and Wounds and Oh my goodness, this is really another level. Hajit Alun Subatal. But this thing can they eat me? Tabis ask you suck it. You record everything. It is illuminated. Ah, record. But because in South Sudan, I don't know how things works there. 
But you are strong no. and remember Silver X, you are loved by, by many and hated by few, you know? Yeah, you are really loved by many. That's you have to remember. Aldela get attacked at Fajid. It's only few few people, you know, but you are loved by many. That is okay, guys, thank you for your that's, that's very Thank you, Mark. Yeah. That's very I appreciate, I really appreciate like your thinking and your understanding and you know for always standing with us. For me, I'm one person who doesn't lie about everything about my life. I don't lie about my family, I don't lie about my life. If I say something, I mean it and it's the truth. That's how I said in this new song of mine. No matter how much they lie to the public about my life, the truth will bury them. That's one thing for sure. That's the message. Yeah, that is all Kafnagal, the favorite song talk. The mark, I love you lately. Song is my favorite. Lolipo, get a gun, I'm not gonna because of course, I can't put the gun. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, oh, there's the new song. There is actually the biggest song right now in Juba. Yeah, you know, it's just it is just it's one of those songs. And they told I wrote that song in 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 whatever it is like, you know, Stella. By the time I get to drop something, I have, I have reason over it. I've thought about its effects, I've thought about how people are going to react, I've thought about all this kind of thing, you know. Can, can you imagine I recorded this song since last year when these people were abusing Monia mm. and I didn't release it because mm. I was waiting for something very special to take from them. Yeah, I recorded this song since last year, October. Really? I, I, thought, mean, uh, I, thought, I thought I recorded I am Adele. No, no. Ah. I, the song was ready in there, but I just did not want to, to mix it. Yeah. Like, if you feel pain, mm. don't give them pain during Zaman Tamashakel. Because pain mm. becomes normal during war. Give mm. people pain when it's peaceful. Mm. You know, when everyone is happy, then take that happiness out at that moment. That's when they feel the pain. And trust mm. me, when I dropped this song, it was the right time. Yeah. It's I dropped the, 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 the pictures from Monia, the, the pregnancy pictures. It was mm. the right time. They were happy Christmas. Everybody there could get that. Then boom. Mm. <laughs> I love that. So it's just, it's just, you know, mentality, just like I was saying, there's a game. Yeah, yeah. Mark, thank you so much. Gali, you are true legend, Silver X. Keep up uh, pushing. Thank I you, guys. This song is really good. This song is so What's nice. Look up, people. Look up, people. King Poco Pico. What's wrong, my local people? Doko pito king poko pico. Bananin su kerin, okulu jani, said manin, masakin, otanin, sumanin ze bakulu mamianin, geni kara besimi, ashan bekala mosurin, cause all of them know I'm the music king. Real fakers, all of them brokers, carrying a big head like in Kulufadi, making a lot of noise like in Mavi Heat, making a lot of noise like in Pita Leo. Yala li mushakashik del. Alkulu ayan in the belief of me rojal, le rojal de sumani in the babu laborot in the adjusin lakin nagis in in the geni kara besimi ashan betala mushurin. But hold on, wait, I forgot there was a verse I forgot. As we team nakin mon masaki rem del. And I said, geni kara besimi ashan betala mushurin. Because all of them know. Never touch, never touch my family. This song is really good. I have my sister in France, and you so much. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going to I created this game in the industry right now. Mm -hmm. The people being whatever they're doing, they all this kind of game now, the game the new artists are enjoying. I must have managed the game from the beginning. I know what runs around, what happens. And I don't know if you have realized, if I'm offline for about like, and I can, if I'm going to do it online, let me say for a month, the industry goes to man. Yes, artists will be dropping songs, but you know, that mm -hmm. vibe, that entertainment, there is not, it's not there. Mm -hmm. Entertainment is like, you see when you see in Uganda, Baby Cool is that one person who has mastered the game. Mm. So he knows maneuver around and then stuff like that. But most of these beefs, like, I just wanted to make this very clear. I don't hate any artist, like, completely. I'm one person, I'm like, there's all a lot of fun, like, in real life. That those people who know me in real life will be the only ones who can tell the truth about me. I don't hate any of these artists. You've had beef, they're my munu, my munu, my munu, my munu. 
those beefs were all not, not they were not all not really. like we cleared mm -hmm. them out and people have fun for a week two weeks and besides you know it's a very stressful country somehow so people need to be happy people need to find something to keep them off from the stress so yeah. that's what we're doing you know it, but it's a sacrifice because it comes with a lot of a lot of a lot of things to bear yeah. and not so many people handle what i handle yeah but like i always say yeah it, you know that's and if they put in my shoes to handle what I handle, okay, you're, you're a lady. Let me say if they put any man in silver egg shoes, they will not want to be in those shoes for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a, it becomes a lot of yeah. things. comes with a lot of, lot of consultation, comes with a lot of tolerance, you know. But mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if there is a blessing, can't I go up a new level? If, if a blessing are coming, you will always have attack. At so, a new level. Blessing Biyami Rabbanade, you have to know that there's you know there's a tack, there's a test for God. Yeah. So and I give you a lot of message you talk here. So uh and I can't be munu fisa sudan that you can compare yourself. Give us a kind of gali don't get in a small compare the manastani. Is there anyone South Sudan at the hangar? Okay, Mazole, I can compare myself. Uh let me say there is no like I'm not just trying to brag, mm. but mm. believe me, in some times back. There's one artist I respect, mm. and I will always respect him. He's my brother, he's, he's my friend, and even if we had our own feuds, at least he's one person who gave me competition, like real proper competition. Mm. That, that's WJ. Like, my competition with him was a very healthy one and was, was good. There mm. was, it, it never involved insults, but I don't know whatever happened to him. Like, yes, it's, you know, people like, people say, oh, legend, Keregen, Ibira, Kere, whatever. People, you know, lie a lot. They don't want him to. I mean, he's, he might be there, but he's not as active as he was before. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was also Mr. Lenz. He's one very great legend of respect. I played with him this game a lot. So the three of us, these are the big three artists that, you know, the new, that only existed. Mm -hmm. There was just me, WJ, Mr. Lenz, and uh, what's a very, was a very great game we played and uh i hope wherever they are they are happy and uh, they're doing what they're doing if they were still as active as i am right now i would say those, mm -hmm. those are the two artists probably understand yes there were other artists before you know being 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 a, the greatest doesn't mean you started earlier than you some people but the music better like and they never reached the level we reached they never did a huge contribution like we've contributed like you understand so but those two if they were still Still active. I would mm. say yes. If you put my name next to w WJ or WJ next to my name, Mr. Lens next to my name, and you bring uh, many men, the Kuzos clan, mm. you bring many men in there. That is okay. That is that is that, that would be fair. You understand? Mm. Because Tembe, Manas John Kuluse, they are uh, they are ahead of us. Yeah. They are. You get there. Those are what you call freedom fighters. Money, Anastabana, and all that. But the real music, turning it from the traditional way of doing music to, to modern music, we did that change. And uh, those are the artists you can bring them, you know, put them there, it's all right. And uh, even if you, if you would bring, I'm not just trying to take credit out from people, if you would bring Quizzy, she was that lady, mm -hmm. she was there, bring uh, Mary Boyoy, she was right there. Mm -hmm. so these are people like who are right there, you know, at the beginning of, you know, at the modern mm -hmm. music. I know. Yeah. People might say, hey, why am I talking about music? But she, is, you know, she has a credit, she was there and still doing things and stuff. And uh, yeah, Mary Boyoy, salute to you. Those are the two ladies who are still standing from our yeah. time. And okay. yeah, and many stuff like that. But other than that, there was also one artist I did want to give credit to, that to Seven Degrees. Mm -hmm. 97, I think it was the youngest uh, artist song of the show. Of course, that's the biggest overall song. Like He's good, yeah. And then mm. now MC had the song of Medina. Oh, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. That song, I think I'm around 10 or 11. Some around there, he was young. But that boy mm -hmm. has been on, on chart. He's been doing well until today. So I I respect him. I love him. But still, he's not my level still. You understand? Mm -hmm. He knows it. When I dropped the song of uh, local people, he was the first person to message me. He was like, indeed, you are a real king. Mm. I actually shared this message. Message, his comment, I shared it uh, because it meant a lot to me. Mm -hmm. They say real recognize real. He knows it. But people try to bring, compare me, put me next to his name. But he knows it's not we're not in that same same lane, you understand? Because at some point you can be the best, but if you relax, 
definitely things go down. But me, I promise my friends one I'm not going to relax. I'm not going to uh, at least I'm out this I'm still 36 years, so it's not a lot. I say like a couple of years ago. So oh. that's what it is, but it's wrong for anyone to compare me to anybody that will not be yeah, that would be disrespect. But I wouldn't mind oh. if you put me with WJ Lang, many men. Those are I don't know if it's some and that. Uh, but currently, currently, achievements, music wise, I still trend number one every single day. People talk still about Sil Silver X name in South Sudan, in Juba, as if I was in Juba. And it's hard for any artist to live outside the country and still be number one on top. From uh, 2016 true. to 2020, I lived in Kampala, but I was still the top artist. Now, mm. this year I left Juba 2022. October 22nd mm. and I've been there for a couple of years like for a year and some months mm. but I still I, I'm still number one you understand so it is a rare thing for people to do so yeah, yeah. Not okay yeah okay before we go to that I have some comments on Katrina Katrina um, in Norway it's a nice one silver X keep up stay safe and then Mark I'm looking forward yeah thank you to see you you know Teaming up with Dali Colan. So, guys, thank you for watching this Silver X. Um, okay, Kanjafi uh, Music Industry, that I want to know um, what the payment, because why I'm saying that, there are a lot of these artists, they are bragging, and I love their messages. I post last week, Haji Tanegale, you guys you brag a lot. Can I be? Okay, it's good, you know, if you have it, you can brag. Like, it's a mind, you can be like an iron in so no. Museswa, yellow, you get a rascal, you remember that post of yours, yeah. and you are right. Yes. You are really right because for me, that someone to, because someone to come there, you know, to brag. I'm this fool, this this guy, few well, you know, he's very oh, you brag too much to Facebook there. And this guy, every time, what a banner, even Lano Rafana message, I need to Rafana gives me 10, I think four years ago. So for people to brag, I have this and a kid and a kid. I think I can. I am big and I'm gurus. And you are right for that. Listen to that. Finance and attack the fogo. That's true. Yeah. How do you see men in South Sudan? Let me say that is no. Uh, let me say the truth is this. There is no artist in South Sudan who gets paid more than I, I used to be when mm. I was still right back from there. Mm. But let me say this thing. Artists right now. Even there are those ones who can go the whole year without even single booking. Mm. And mm. if they're getting paid, sis, let me say, I'm speaking, this is the bare truth. Most of them go for those shows for free just to appear on stage so they can have something to post on Facebook. They're traveling to India. I was the first artist to go to India and I was paid. And I was paid all the way from Kampala to come to, to travel mm. from another country to, to go to the other side. These mm. ones, when they're going this side, this this one, like I'll give it brag. I don't want to demean anyone, but this one, mm. brag, they take you for free. They just pay your ticket to go and perform. And they just want those videos or those pictures to post on social media. So they are more worried about social media than actually what goes into their pockets. Mm. None of these artists get money. If hard life avenue, yes, they get paid. These are one professional group. I love them to death. From day one when they starting, I was right there with them with liners and stuff. And until today, they get paid when they go for their, they perform a lot in weddings and all this. In weddings, yes, they get paid. In shows, we support each other. It's called supporting each other. And if they're paying you, it's a hundred dollars or below. Even me, shows within Juba, I'll matter mm -hmm. The promoters will come to you. I'll definitely charge two thousand dollars. But trust me, sis, you even look at the promoter and how much it's going to make. You won't even read that money. <laughs> I end up with a thousand can go a thousand dollars. And give you about this two thousand and the four. That is silver X. Now mm. when you bring the small ones here, they go for free for the shows. They even go and beg MCs, they pay money for them to go on stage. So they can get a small video to post on social media. All these things, the small money they get, it's this support from friends, from whatever for like you say, most of you outside in it, you support a lot. And this artist, you see, shooting videos every like who have videos. I'll give you country, Kampala, Vinaro, Wende. All the people supporting them are from Australia, from US, from wherever. Nobody gets paid because you would see it. Music money like this, they don't have it, and that's the bare fact. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be going to say, or the men do girlfriends. I'll meet in Bahrain, support Monday. 
they are not doing anything. The world is shining. I know them one by one and who's supporting who, who's supporting who, who's paying for this video vote. Every one of them, whether the artist from Kampala, Alvi Nairobi, or whatever. That's why you see, I'm sorry to say this, but when you see a lot of the artists who are doing well right now, uh, the Denka artists, because their people support them 100% plus. Denka people, they are good yeah, supporting each other. Because their people do not support them. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's, that's the difference. That's why you see, uh, you see artists like shooting videos every single day. Like I'll mention one of these artists, like uh, I love him so much. He's a hard worker. He's a star. Okay, maybe let, mm. let me just not mention like for the sake of, you know, but most of them, every one of them who's shooting videos every single day and then dropping songs and albums, the support comes from outside because no one has ever gone to their village to sell a cow to do music. Most of them date women from here. Then these women are the ones supporting them on that side. Mm -hmm. They should not lie to us, dressing good and all this. They can't afford those clothes. It's still people from outside they were supporting those. Things. And then they come to me because I met public. I've never, like, let me say, I said bye bye to poverty in 2009. 2009 already had a dollar account, and pounds, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You understand? By mm -hmm. all these things, and that time was good. There was no tribalism, there was no whatever it is. But these days, community can be seat while I'm out. If your community is big and supportive, you do well. You understand? That's that's the bare fact. That's the bare mm -hmm. fact people should understand. People should know. When you see these ones coming to Nairobi doing this and that collab was this, they have people who are millionaires who have money to Juba behind this artist. Like Engalum and Gurush is there. I thought now is better. I thought maybe last week I get a phone group speak. Kalam they make a meeting. That's what I thought. What about the radio station? Of the worst. The radio station. I'll give you one of interview there. What about that one? Give you one of interview. They get a phone group. Come on, radio station there. No, radio stations. They actually they get you there for. They don't pay you when you go for radio interview. In the state, when your song comes out, you have to beg these radio stations. To host you so they can oh, play your song. My goodness, no. You and you have to be nice, by the way. And sometimes you have to pay the presenters for them to be able to host you. You have to pay the presenters to be able to bring you on board to premiere your song. Oh my goodness. Also, when you get some good presenters, like uh good presenters, they will not ask you for money, but they can call you. Hey Stella, you, your new song is nice and uh, we want to host you. Maybe let's say in Advanced is Radio, maybe like let's say in iRadio, maybe like in CTFM, uh, in whatever radio like Summer and all this. But other presenters come on, they, 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 will, they will not really want to charge you, but question come on, you understand? Sometimes you have to appreciate them and stuff like that. But you don't get paid when you go for radio interviews. It is and the artists we long to go for those interviews. Yeah, and, and we also uh, have royalties, mm -hmm. I'll get that on us. Like uh, in you know when people play a song, you have those royalties. We don't have those things out. We just drop music, we drop videos. We don't even get back anything from it. And a few of us, a few artists earn money from YouTube, which is very very small. Mm. YouTube, if your video is being watched from from these African countries, it is zero point zero four dollars. That's true, guys. Yeah, that's when you, that's when you watch it from yes, Kantang, you watch me maybe Holland, these first class countries, US, yeah. Australia, when on can yeah, kind of the one dollar or a like one point something or a two that's true that's so we really don't really true. get paid a lot from this idea it's not so people should not be bragging on social media my god like let's that's the bad thing because can monjava kayani then they'll go online hey, let's do contribution for so size i am i thought you were a star i thought you say you have money and you can't even have yeah my goodness so Sure. I really thought that had it and for the ladies, I know Spinas Giata Kara. For the ladies, I know before even in other Al Nazi can do my they have to sleep with you. Because I remember in other and they go record Gunata because I didn't boost my money. You know, I saved my money. I'm like, and then this guy he tried, two guys tried to sleep with me. They were I will do for you for free, you know. This is what That's is happening it. in Africa and in South Sudan. Those ladies, the most of them are guys from my videos. I'm not saying all of them, but I know Galif standing there is something going there, I got Mulomon free. Because to pay a no, video. Yeah, the this thing, thing, the thing. Yeah, the, the the whole thing is with the ladies. It's it's a very it's it's uh, it's not for the weak, by the way. Mm -hmm. the ladies, the ladies, they have their own ways of making you know understand. Like mm -hmm. there's this song of mine I 
Ma vie nous. Ma vie mm. nous, ma yam. Aze le vie d'un, aze le vie d'un. That's what mm. I'm like. Fetish the gurus, but they didn't take it. Like, no, they didn't take it. Like, that's what, what, what they do. And that's what happens everywhere. Like, it's, it's, it's very hard. It's hard for the ladies. I'm sorry to say that. And I, mm. I, I feel for them. Well, ladies, for them to get that money, most of them, okay, because we, the artists, don't have the money. Mm. So, so the artists will, will, will have use you for free. Maybe to do collab or this nonsense, you know, and keep, keep those things happens a lot. Producers would want to, you may not afford to pay, they want to maybe use you so they can record you for free. Videos then, but most of them go for this, you know, these all, all you know, museums, these all men and those business guys and stuff and get their money. It's easy for them to get that money from those people. Like, but music wise, it is, it is not, it's not, it's not a lot of money. Because if you calculate your rent, it just take a calm and then, uh, uh, Sometimes you, it's just it's just too much, Stella. Like for example, when I was living in Juba. Mm. I was not living in my house. Like for example, those years, it was a bit far for me and stuff. Like lot of good age, and I don't mm. want to stay there. So I stay somewhere close to Munuki because that's you know the center and it's near, so I can run mm -hmm. my things out. Mm. In a month, I'm paying three hundred and fifty dollars, and my landlord would run like six months. Mm. Now, it shows. In a month, maybe like you only have one show and it's five hundred dollars. Maybe like let's say one thousand can get it. Mm. That's a wedding because for weddings I will not compromise with you. I don't think this thing are nice galera, you know, we're having a wedding, I want you to perform. Oh, then when you charge the money, they'll be like, Well, I go to school colours of a hiring hall, I do sound, I do sunu, because how do you plan for all these things? But you never plan to pay silver X. Then you want not to pay me five hundred dollars mm. for a wedding which is worth a hundred thousand mm. uh, dollars. don't do those things. That's why it's a lot in weddings. Because my price stays mm. constant. But other normal shows, the cheapest mm. show I can go for, I get five hundred. It happens. Now this five hundred maybe comes in a month, or maybe like you can get it. Let me say for other artists, you have that money. Mm. Your rent maybe like let me say you're paying fifty dollars a month. And some of them will stay for the whole year, not even having a single concert, but they go online bragging. My mother is going to hire me in, in boutique. Most of the clothes yeah. they wear, they go hire them from the boutiques. They could pick. You see, <laughs> they when like, okay, I come to you, ask you for money. Like, Stella, you give me money. Oh, my friend will give me money. The first thing I do is social media. What am I going to post tomorrow? Which picture? And then I go pay a photographer. And then I go higher closes, Guru's enter. Oh my goodness, what a mentality. But you cannot even afford to buy food because you've used the money to pay a photographer and use the money to hire closes. Mm -hmm. You don't have those things that Stella. I want to say like this, for example, when I came, when I came this side, I told my boys, mm -hmm. I don't want to carry anything from Africa. Mm -hmm. I gave out mm -hmm. about 20, about 87 pairs of shoes every mm -hmm. single all close of mine. I don't know how many packs, how many wardrobes. My brothers, my friends, my artists, and all this. I am a best my this my wahed. Modlon wahed. Pass wahed. Wahed. Yala jacket wahed. Yala the gear first time. The only thing I carried in the our pictures at wedding. They asked me how I'm going to live. I was like, I know I'm going to face a lot of problems at the beginning, but that's the challenge I carry on. So I challenged myself even before I came this side. So when I came, I was prepared for everything that was going to happen. But yeah. today, there is a HLM palace existing in Australia. Yeah. So that's just, <laughs> that's just, that's just me. You know, it's, it's a silver X thing. And it was, was hard from the beginning. I am grateful. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. It is but it's good. Yeah. I was it's really one of really good. a few days ago. If you want people to help you, do not pretend Gali you're rich because if you tell if you want them to consume the fact that you're rich when you're not, tomorrow if you're going to ask them for money, they will not help you because they will think you're rich. Yeah. Exactly. The fact, live your life with reality. Yeah. You'll be happy. Yeah. But faking life, you will live, live the most miserable life in reality and live a happy life online. Mm. Just mm. to get your comments. Mm. Don't act like the video. The video has that money. Don't act like whiskey bannable. Now, Joseca, these people have that money. Mm. They buy those cars. Mm. They buy those cars. Don't act like silver X. Everything I have is mine. I have it. I bought it. I, if it is whatever it is, like, like it is mine. I'm not hiding yeah. it. And I've, yeah. I've never got people to hire clothes for video for whatever it is. I go buy clothes for every video. Finishing the video, I give them out. 
I go for every show, new clothes, new shoes, new everything. Every concert I've ever had. I don't have clothes. That's very low. I hire for a video. I am shocked to hear this. That's the truth. They hire clothes for videos. They hire all these things like and then so we can see that they're expensive. Expensive nonsense, expensive bro. Bro. Mm -hmm. You know, people, people, you like to ask you're expensive, but every single thing that you have, you have somebody has to give it to you. Exactly. Because you cannot make real mm -hmm. money by yourself. Mm. So instead of appreciating the people behind the curtain, the people who are supporting you, you're hiding them off and then you're showing off your money. When we ask you, Guru Sai Dalam in Gali music, which concert have you performed in? Mm. Because I know every single show that happened in Juba, come crowd ja, yeah, to add that I'll get the woman come. So these are the things like I just want our to learn. They don't have to lie. It's they don't to have to lie. That. Our industry is very miserable right now mm -hmm. than those days. Those days we used to be paid real good. Zamanda mm -hmm. Stella, they pay us money, Zamanda three hundred dollars, but it was a lot of money that time, by the way. Do you know? Yeah, it's a lot of time. So a lot of money. At that time I was living, I was living with my with my cousin brother, Savan Kiston. Mm. I wasn't paying any rent. I wasn't doing anything. And uh, so every week I have like more than two, three shows. Mm. And mm. I just save that money. He just told me, you know what? Save your money. I'll just save. You might know him, Taban Kiso is a lawyer. Mm. I'll just, just save. So save this money, save this money. By the time I bought my first car in 2011, mm. all the price. How did you do it? Mm. Then I told him one thing. When I get my money, I never spend money on women or ladies. I don't that's sleep good. in hotel when I'm in Juba. Never. That's good because they are these stupid men can get a guru here. They spend ladies. Guru says it. Yeah. Hotel. Barnard. And then you want to you get. Then you ask Silver X, how did you buy your car? How did you build your first mm -hmm. house? I built my first house in 2012. Mm -hmm. Complete. A whole school. Beautiful. And it's just like, because my mentality is different. I, I come from a very poor family, like completely poor. Like, a, no dad, no anything. Thing and I'm the only person probably who's seen light from my yeah. family. So I'm the, I, I, the only person who supports mm -hmm. my family. So I had to think twice before I spend a single coin of mine. Yeah, I just want and to ask I, about about, uh, about your parents. I'm sorry uh, about your parents. And it, it just how many are you guys in, in family? The home country. In a family, we are we are, we are seven. Seven. Wow. Yes. Yeah, mm, only two boys. Okay. Okay, two boys and the rest are girls. And oh, Molly's yeah. no? they are all No, the the eldest one. Rabana Shil two thousand and two. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the one that I named after my little daughter. Mm -hmm. I that day, Rabana I was very young that time. Yeah. So all along I prayed to God one day, Rolana Binia so I could yeah. name her after my and God gave me the little one. So yeah. yeah. And then one also passed on, the one I followed. I yeah, moved about a month ago. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, that one. So those are the, the two. But my brother is alive. He's still rich. Yeah. Then my also. He looks like you. I don't know about twins. He really looks like you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think all, all, all nine number twins. He's actually Fial Kebir, Yellow, and then Fial Nid Banat de Warato. You know, the latter Banat. And then Vigana. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Then there are two girls. Mm. About your parents, you know, uh, um, uh, Silver X, it's again that you grow up without them. They are, they, they are, they are not alive. Well, uh, my mom is, but my dad. I've never seen my father, not even his pictures, by the way. Yeah. yeah. When I, like you don't even see it anymore. So, I really have no idea of how my father looks like, what he was, yeah. and uh, he died in. In 1992, I was just four years. And you were just four years. I've never oh. seen him, never set my eyes on him because he was a soldier. But he was mm. basic. And mm. then uh, in Tori. Mm. So my dad passed to me the gun of Tori. And then my shackle in 1988, they happened. So Galu Terema and Silana Fibet. So now when my dad wanted us to come back now to Tori and then come to Juba, mm. that's the year now. Okay, so you grew up. You grow up uh, with your mom. Yeah, How was mom, up with us with that? Mm. My mom raised us all of us single-handedly. 
ya debe historia das kurju mazara gata kasa faham gesh that we then uh, in 2009 yo jaje bana fi then from there now my uncle took me to 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 the camp to ajuma ni refugee camp i was in agojo mm-hmm. at the age of yeah at the age of 10 i mm-hmm. think that's now where i stay. i stay i live with my aunties my mm-hmm. two aunties Sadia and then until later so Mm-hmm. Yeah, I grew up with them like that. You know, life in the camp is one of those lives. It can rough. If you have gone through it, you will understand. Mm-hmm. So that was basically that. But and then my mom now with old age, but all of us grew out from there was no any kidda kidda stuff. You got it's just street life and you learn on the streets. You know. But yeah. my was very great. She taught us, you know, a lot of manners, hard work. Like especially my aunt said, yeah. Like every single day, you go to the garden. You don't go to the garden, you will not eat. So we believe in that thing of like at my start at Dama Wako. So exactly. from childhood, mm. we learn this hard work. That's good. That's good. right. It is what it is. Yeah. Even the Bible says we have to work hard. Ken Dama Kuna and I beg that we have to work hard. Yeah. And then still, like I want to ask something. That there's uh, Anna Gasa. This question to everyone. Uh, in life, we have. We have our friends who are our family. See, Delali, you know, um, uh, especially in this time, you don't know who to trust. You don't know who to trust. So, but we, you know, uh, in this life, we have to be with people. At least, Fizol Nakal, you can trust. Can you are going through something? At least, I got out Filande. Do you have some good friends who are a family member uh, in a Baram in Monia, Baram in Susan? I know that one's mm-hmm. Angel Take. Do you have like a friend there? Can you are going through something? Tag or alone? Uh, yeah. Let me just say, when it comes to good friends, I am the most blessed person. You see, God has never blessed me with a family. Maybe like my butai mafi, and all that kind of stuff. But God bless some genuine friends. Amen. Take them. I'll die for them. I'll start this way straight out. Mentorit. That is one person that's called DJ Richie. You might know him, he's called Yongo. But in reason, like in he's all off, he's a present. It's called DJ mm-hmm. Richie. That mm-hmm. day, but from my beginning, the first day I started recording until today. Mm-hmm. If you check on Facebook, listen to DJ Richie. Mm-hmm. I love him, I respect him. He's there for me a hundred percent. When I came to Juba, the first person who took me. Mm-hmm. He just saw me on a concert one day and he said, bro, you are just unmatched. Because at that time there was a show, dance, WJ and all that and stuff. And then I came on stage, I did two songs, I stole the whole show. And Sebit, that person is called Sebit William. Mm-hmm. Sebit William, he's like my elder brother, he's like my godfather, he's like, you know, he, he managed me together with the Freedom Boys took me like his own brother, you understand? He never mm. took a single coin from any concerts. Mm. He tells me to take it all. When he takes us out, wow. he pays for every single bill. He never allowed me to even pay a single bill. Wow. Until today when I'm with him, he will not allow me to pay. Wow. Wow. Even this exhibit. I'm already a grown up dude, bro. I was like, no, you're in my eyes, you're still that young boy I met. Yeah. That is yeah. William for he works in Radio Miraya. And then that is Morolo Combo. Morolo Combo, that one, me and him, we get right or die. Mm. He's there, he will root for me no matter what happens. We will fight with him now, tomorrow, and well. You get that is one person, too, that I, I respect, value, yeah. and when I have issues, they are always there for me. Mm. Whether whether advices, all these social media things going around. When they see them, you know, I'm getting maybe like too much, they, they, they're with me 100%, but they'll never go online and say this and that because mm. you know, they're professional. But mm. advice wise, they're there for me 100%. Even when I came, I didn't want to come to Australia, by the way. Mm. But they told me because you cannot bring money at this side. And that's the person you've chosen. Mm. You know, so, then I had to, I had to that. Then when again you come to my manager, the person who also pushed my career to the biggest heights, that's promoter Sam. Mm. 
But what I saw came to me as, you know, as a, a young boy. But then later, I brought him out to the, you know, I brought him to fame, joined him to whatever, like just made his dream come true as a promoter. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. he to manage me. And now, uh, still, I would say this to everybody. Some in those months who would spend who that can fish me in one month or two months, sometimes there's no business. Mm -hmm. Some use to, to take care of us. Wow. Hard life. Yeah, he would get some. Maybe I will have a hard life. Some maybe I will have a Kawaja revolution. And some, I don't know, whichever, and also some contributed money to buy my fourth car. Mm -hmm. I remember when I went back from Australia, mm -hmm. all the money was paid. He refused to even take any money from it. He told me you needed more because he was working really good. Yeah, and if, if that's one person, trust me, I will also lie down to Doro Murasai. That's how much I respect people like that. I will never take his credit. I love him, I respect him. And I'm I'm just hoping one day I repay them in a like in a way they will not believe. I hope that they will come. I'm always praying to God. All of them, I just want to one day surprise them with some some things that they will not really expect. Definitely for me, they would expect anything, but I just want God to keep them alive for me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. That's the blessings. Yeah. That's yeah, the blessings. It's a marabama, but look what God has did for you, know. God gave me people. Amazing. Because and I think also yeah. like when it comes also like to I would also like say there are also people, maybe they are not as close as these ones I've just mentioned are. Mm. There are also a lot of people who would root for Silver X when it comes to anything, whether online or offline in real life. And I think mm. one of them is you know, mm -hmm. thank you. you. Know, and you know, I'm that person who speaks. Or maybe because you know, you're a good person. They don't like lies. You get, they mm -hmm. always believe. And you've been that mm -hmm. one, like, standing with us as well during this tough moment when Monia was going through a lot of things and you always reach out to her and stuff. And mm -hmm. there are friends I have, yeah. even those in HLME. Like right now, I have a very young boy right now, like who's in charge of HLME in Jubaga. I've mm -hmm. actually let me until today he can stand up there and advise me as as a grown-up you understand it's the boy i brought up but now he contributes you know i just meet people like who stand up for me and i have a lot of them by the way right? those yeah. are, oh. but as i've mentioned these are the ones who like their connection with me was too powerful and it is too powerful until today yeah oh that's really good yeah and then uh, in a, uh, um you are the owner of you are the ceo 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 yeah. <laughs> of uh, Holy Land Music Empire, most. Yeah, I actually created. Uh, you are the owner. Holy mm -hmm. Land Music Empire in two thousand and uh, and eight. Mm -hmm. But I'm in Torit, and then yeah, sign a lot of artists, and yeah. Uh, but you yourself, you've been helping come on a lot of people, so that that's really good, and that's why all this stuff. Like, you know, when you when you are blessed. Uh, yesterday with my interview with Viola, she said when you are blessed you will see people will attack you the demons in them will attack you yeah. so you just have to remember these things like you are loved by many and hated by few and because you are so sometimes attacked man not standing because you are blessed you know you grew up without your dad you were single mother you went a lot and now you are becoming you know you know uh, your blessings are coming now you're shining and that's why attack the cool yeah yeah so uh, uh, do you, is there any dream because I'm sure you still continue with the music. There's we have, yeah. we have to know is there a dream of me or another song or uh, uh, what do you see about the future, about tomorrow? What are your plannings for tomorrow? You still have a big dreams? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Let me say I never stop dreaming. You know, people go to sleep to dream. Mm -hmm. But me, I wake up just after my dreams. Amen. Wow, that's more. That's nice. People go I to people so they can dream, but for me, I'm out uh -huh. chasing my dream. Yeah. So the thing is, definitely, like this year since I came to Australia, my main focus was just to to uplift my family mm. and uh, to get my mm. out of from from the stress that she had gone through. My wife had gone through a lot in my absence, and mm -hmm. you know, being in a relationship a lot and stuff, and people are saying, ah, 
that can do with silver eggs, they all be there, you know, the Cbita, you know, is going to leave you. There was a lot of negativity. So my first was to just come here and do every single thing I promised my wife. Every mm. single thing I promised I promised her. Fulfilled mm. closely. I don't know all of them, but still there is a few I'm, I'm yet to accomplish. Mm. And uh, when it comes to music, I definitely have a huge a huge dream that um a hundred percent sure god will bless me mm. god will help me achieve it one thing is like once madame gets off from you know this maternity thing and stuff maybe and she gets back to work mm. which i don't really want her to do for now sometime just mm. not to relax get all the stress she, she went through she worked so hard as to relax her but like later one thing i found out in australia is Australia doesn't have an industry like, you know, and like serious music industry. Mm. Every Australian who makes it out in entertainment has to do it from the US. <laughs> so my dream here is the day I get set and ready mm. to start my journey here, Australia will play Silver X. Australia will know Silver. Mm. Not just the African, Australia. Mm. Talking about the whole continent or the whole country, whatever it is, mm. Australia would talk about silver X like they talk about silver X in Juba. Mm. Sure, sure, sure. I'm, ready. I'm still studying the environment and I'm mm. still like focused on my family at the moment. Mm. So I'm dedicating like two years of my time or three mm. years just focus on my family 100%. Mm. That's why you see dropping music only audios, I'm not having time to shoot videos because. 18 hours or nine hours of every day from Monday to Friday. I'm out. I wake up in the morning at 4 a.m. Come back home past midnight, sometimes past, past 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Sleep for one hour, then go out just to get these things done. But time is going to come when I know my family is stable. I like they're really okay. So my ultimate and baran, stuff like that. I will mm -hmm. myself. They will understand when I get back to music like fully. They will understand. Right now, but I'm not even 100% doing music, let me say. Because mm. if I said, you will just understand. Just dropping music just to keep the brand in there, you know, and all this thing. Mm. But that day will come. You will be there to witness. Mm. And I'm okay. hoping one day we will come back to the same platform. Yeah. And by that time, it's going bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger like time is 10 um, now. Man. We will have yeah. this interview. Yeah, amen. That's just, That's, yeah, I'm, I'm a yeah, believer, I'm a dreamer, mm -hmm. I'm a hard one. And, uh, yeah. That, yeah, and you have a genuine love. You, know, you, have, yeah. you have that genuine love. Like, Nassal, maybe they can go out this day when I stay long, I know one, I can see the things. This all jealous. See, Nassal, I'll say, and you know, I'll reject them on Janak, and see, but now they are thinking everyone's the same like that. But since yeah. I'm a money, I've seen you to go and say, I'll tell mom for go. You know, I can see that that genuine love, you know, and people see that. I think some people, because of jealous, they cannot even say something nice. So yeah. you are really doing good. And thank you so much for being so good, Lonak. And people from Africa, you guys have to know that we help each other. We help each other, you know. Yeah. We have to help each other. Because you know, in Africa and South Sudan, they think it's so easy, the Hajata name. And yeah, you know, like, this is for, this is who are saying those things. Then another question I want to ask the Jilibin is visual beggar, visual al Joe's Mara, Mara Alta Dafa Hajat Warato. The beginning, Mario. The beginning, Mario. Okay. Mario is all alma dafa. Money I did. Even if I nani na when I was paying those things, when I was paying her things, I came from part of a group as well. We carried money as well. Like I'm telling you, Nicky Prince was there. Nicky Prince is the one that I made him to become the to become the first payment. I know when we first to do the first one, my elder brother was there. But the second one, now my elder brother wasn't there. He was in Torit, and I had to do it because I was having too much money. I didn't want to keep with me in the hotel where I was living. So. And mm. I was going up, I was going to me and 
and my one of my one of my brothers, Chris. Chris mm -hmm. used to be my general manager. Uh, mm -hmm. Chris Mart and then uh, I went. I passed via asylum. I wanted to take Linus because Linus literally is my day one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Linus was not there, so I ran around my Nikki Prince. He was the one. He was the one counting the money. Mm -hmm. But I, I happened when these people come and abusing me, and then, then I thought maybe one day Nikki Prince will come out and be like, "It's a lie," because. You cannot be a Mario Le Maralta Josu. You understand? You can't be. Mm -hmm. yeah. You cannot be a Mario. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just down. It doesn't you know? make so sense because every single lot abuse me. Yeah. But even they say that here, yeah, Ligana Vijuba. When I'm in Juba, I am a king. They know it. Where I live, even if I was not living in my house, like in my own house, because it was a bit far, a lot of good and American bed. But where I was renting, when you come to my house, you cannot compare to any of the Rokubas. I'm telling you, you cannot compare to any of the Rokubas. I, you I saw your house. I saw your house. I'm not some of that Arabian visual basically. You have a big, this guy has a big mahal to be like a villa. Keda, you know, that little bit of legs when I get I saw your house, very big one. So, yeah, and, and this nonsense here, they are coming. I'm going to say, I said, Mama, but in 2009, none of them were existing. Mama is all women, they didn't even know what. What happened? You understand? Mm -hmm. so, so all these things they're saying against me, they're all lies. Yeah. That's why you just have to take it. There's nothing yeah. in my yeah. So yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Hilma. Before I will go to my favorite question. Is there anything you want to say? I really want to say thank you so much. Thank you for coming. And guys, thank you for watching. Is there yeah. anything you want to say? For me, I just want to say, uh, uh, first of all, thank you so much mm -hmm. for being a great family friend. And also, like, I want to appreciate you for starting this initiative of, uh, of starting your Stella TV. Uh, mm, thank you. The X and the HLM, definitely. And my fans, too, we'll, we will, like, we'll try my best to make sure, like, push up this agenda, attack it, because it's a positive agenda. Mm. It's a platform, you know, you use it, like, to empower women, to empower mm -hmm. us, and to bring out the light, the truth, that, you know, to people. I appreciate you for having me on, on board. You know, mm -hmm. I know you're being so like and that, but I really had to get this time. Mm -hmm. And the good thing with that, like tomorrow is a is a long weekend. Mm -hmm. The king's back tomorrow, so no more gravity trouble. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. I want to appreciate every single fan of mine. Mm -hmm. Everyone who was defending me, everyone who understood me. And the king has shook and taken shade. Because I was able to explain enough why I had to do some things. Mm -hmm. But I'll just say it in simple. A man's responsibility is to defend and protect his family. Even God says it. A man is meant to provide for his family, protect mm. his family from any kind of evil or attack. True. And I'm just doing that. You don't come against my family, I will never come against you. Not true. You don't know my wife, you will never hear any pimp from my mouth. Mm. It is the music and that is it. So mm. to everyone who understood me from the beginning, stood with me and my, my, my family, I want to say thank you so much. I am mm. not a bad person, I think. Mm. They say mm. people minds always try to control the narrative, but they will never control me. You understand? Mm. They will never control the narrative against me. They will lie to people. Oh, kid, I say, I'm not a bad person. I respect women 100%. 100%, Stella. Mm. I have no I know that. A woman who doesn't respect herself does not deserve mm -hmm. to be respected. Mm. Thank that you. One. That's one. my understand. And now uh, for those. To my haters, mm. I just want to say thank you for for giving me the energy to do what I do because mm. when you abuse me, Galana Mendo Hajjad, I work so hard to get it. Exactly. The and positive. They so, even encourage you. The haters encourage yeah. us to do more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. You know, the, the thing was, a lot of people say, oh, Silver Diamond Online 24 7 says that August Takal. Then I told them, no. Money and do say your idea, a machine to print and guru's answer. It's a good answer. Come on, I love it so much. And uh, that's good answer. Okay, yeah. there's the, 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 the last like thank you so much. I want to appreciate being strong and you know, yeah. understanding, yeah. standing by my side, like I said, praying for me every single day. Yeah, you know, it's not easy to be out of home. Yeah. And yeah. come back, go, come back, and go, and like every single day and be safe. Mm -hmm. That means my attack is great to you. And I think she's my lucky 
Hicham, you understand? Yeah, and we really yeah. appreciate her for that. Mm. We yeah, appreciate that. Thank God mm. for everything. Amen. Because mm. most of it would not, not have been possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Silver X, the last, the last question. Um, who is Jesus Christ to you? How is your relationship with God? That's the last question. Who is I have no distance. With, I have no distance with Jesus Christ. He lives in me. He's with Amen. me, twenty four seven. Because Amen. you know, I say this. Imagine me from like a family which is not like from a poor family, like completely poor, no uncle, no uncle, no nothing, no everything. And then mm. I am here today like, like this. Mm. Oh, Nathan, I think this is good. Mm -hmm. this, this is my name. Yeah. So like, God blessed yeah. me to be, to, be, to be up to this extent still. There is no way mm. I can be far from him. Mm. Amen. So, That's he's great. my light. He's my protector. He's my defender. And uh, he's my joy. Understand? Because um, I believe everything that I give is because of him. Yeah. And now, uh, definitely, he lives in me. Thank yes. Thank you so much. Amen. Itan giba na ganta gaklu mola na mola na makis sarada sa gia la na vega. I feel like itan makis sarada. I said I was. I said I was coming from. I was coming from work. Uh, I then well, I I ran to do my haircut because uh, I was preparing for you. So I went to do some haircut. Um, then I asked, I was like, hey, is there anything you want from the supermarket? I was like, uh, from the from the store. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. Then she asked me, it's Anna Gala, I swear, I'm going to work on my schedule. Work on my schedule. I came home and was there. It was wow. awesome. Nice, wallahi. Eh, yummy, nice. Thank you, Anna Gala. Thank you, Anna Gala. Thank you, Anna Gala. No, 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 the Kisra Day, she keep you. Yeah, some students. Oh, she can, yeah. She can, she can make it like in. I don't want her to do it here, you understand? Yeah, it will take long. It will take long. Yeah. 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 Right now, I don't do it. Yeah. Her. 100 days, I wanted her to focus on the baby yeah. and focus on herself. But yeah, it's just yeah. Like, okay. all the years, working hard and all that. Mm -hmm. It's time to, to relax. Yeah. Just also enjoy my presence. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but it's really off. Yeah, I just want to ask one thing about your uh, about your necklace. It will be your necklace, take it. This one, if I talk about it, they will say they will, they will say I'm bragging. But... <laughs> 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 I don't want to say they will say they will say they will say I'm bragging. It's a, okay. it, uh, we have we have flags of this. Uh, this one, King. But this is uh this is personalized. Mm. I can't okay. tell you why they do this, uh, why they make this, whatever stuff, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. order. But this one, ones, mm -hmm. these are real silk too. Mm -hmm. This necklace and uh, and this are cross there. Yeah. I have a friend of mine called uh, it's called Good or something. It's a friend of mine, Fijuba, mm -hmm. who was shooting a video, my video with Rocky J. Mm -hmm. in, in my, my, my mm -hmm. Then I forgot my necklace is home. So when he was, he came and it was like, when we know he I was like, I forgot them home. He had these two on his neck. Mm. So he gave them to me to, to shoot with the video. So when he finished the video, he was yeah. not there. He's gone. Mm. And I didn't even meet him. I, we never met with him. Mm. So okay. the next tomorrow. So when I travel, I just came with them. But I don't know how much he bought them anyway. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't like to lie. I don't like to lie. But this other one is mine. This one here. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's nice. I, I think I, dollars. Mm, it's nice. Guys, I'm not getting bigger. One hour something MC at Akuta Zini now the silver egg gallery. Your hair is eating boss. <laughs> Could do some oil. MC I'm not bigger one hour line. MC look. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Silvax, thank you so much for your time, guys. You can watch the video. So, thank you. Blessed Sunday, Silva X. Um, so, uh, thank you. So yeah, much. thank you. Thank you. 
I really okay. appreciate your time. Okay, God bless. Yeah. Yalla. Bye bye, guys. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Bye, everyone. Yeah,